Today we're going to talk about ground wires in your electrical circuits, why they're important, why they're there, and the dangers that could occur to you and your house in the event that, uh, let's say, an outlet is not grounded properly. And uh, then at the end I'm going to also show you how you can test your outlets to make sure they are grounded properly to prevent any accidental uh, catastrophes down the road. Let's get to the workbench and the dry erase board. So we are here and uh, we're going to simulate a circuit. Okay, so for the color schemes, we've got the black is hot, this uh, blue or purple, I'm slightly colorblind everyone, just a little peek under the tent here, flannel guy can't tell certain colors, that's either blue <laughs> or purple, um, I think it's blue, and then the green is ground, okay, so here we've got the electrical panel and a, and a standard 20 amp breaker, and a 20 amp breaker is usually what you're going to use to pa power your uh, your uh, outlets, your receptacles. Okay, uh, so the first thing you're going to have is coming off of the uh, breaker, you'll have your, your hot wire that's going to be wired directly to the breaker. And when it goes through the Romex, it's going to be attached to the the gold screw here, which is for the, uh, the power, right? And the, the current is flowing this way. Okay, and then you've got your neutral coming off of the silver screw and it's going back and it's going to attach to one of the uh, neutral bus bar inside the panel and it's, you know, you're c completing the circuit. Okay, there you go. You've got your grounds coming off of the ground screw here, going back and attaching to the ground bar. And this is in the event of uh, an issue here where the, the circuit is not going back, right? So let's say um, you have a fault and um, you, what you want to have happen is for the current to find its, its path of least resistance back to the electrical panel so it can complete its circuit, okay? Because you do not want that power to uh, hit the electrical box that may be connected here that a thing is screwed into or let's say yourself let's say this is you and uh, for some reason you've got your your touching over here or the box maybe it's the box you let's say you're touching the side of the box and the wire popped off and is touching the side of the box right the hot wire you accidentally touch the box if that box is grounded here then what will happen is instead of the the juice going through you it's going to return this way okay and um, now once it does that this breaker is going to sense uh, the irregularity and it'll trip and all that happens in a blip okay um, now People think that what will happen is, is that when it goes back, it goes actually so it goes in the ground. I'm going to show you what the ground in the ground looks like. Here we are outside and the breaker panel is on the other side here where the meter is. Um, here's the ground wire coming out from the panel outside. It goes into the ground here and just comes up and ties in right here to this post that's driven deep into the ground and this is how the panel is grounded not your circuit but the panel in the event that there's an overload on the panel maybe your there's a lightning strike and somehow it makes its way to the panel and it finds its way path of least resistance out and down into the ground here and in um, in some instances I, I maybe some newer homes do this too but I know that a lot of the older homes that house, house I grew up in also had a lightning rod attached to the chimney so that and then a, with a wire coming down to the ground and a post going into the ground like this, deep in the ground, in the event that lightning was going to maybe strike your house, instead of it hitting your roof someplace, or your, it would go and hit that lightning rod because it was metal and it was grounded and the electricity, even in lightning, wants to find its way to ground the path of, of least resistance to ground and that would be the lightning rod on top of your house. Let's assume that we do not have this ground wire and it's not here, and you're touching, uh, what's going to happen is, is that what, 
what the circuit wants is for that power to go through you and then let's say out your foot through the ground somehow complete the circuit it cannot you, you're not connected there and you, if you were standing in the dirt next to the panel that might be sitting in the dirt it would still need to go through all of that dirt which is highly resistant to the conduction of electricity right so instead of it going through you're not going to complete the circuit so all that juice is just going to get poured into you and um, what you're looking at is something like this that's you on fire and uh, or me blue-eyed flannel guy completely unhappy with the situation because I didn't have this thing properly grounded all right if you're finding this video to be helpful so far please give me that thumbs up thanks very much this is a very quick down and dirty explanation of what could happen if you're not properly grounded on your receptacles at the beginning of the video I said that I would show you how you could test your outlets to make sure that it's wired properly and it is grounded and um, I did another video on this which is an outlet tester and I'm gonna link to that video uh, I'm gonna put it up in the, in the in the card here so you can you can get to it you rewind when we're done you can get to it but one of these outlet testers you just plug it in and depending on the reading here there's an instruction right in the front it tell the light combination will tell you whether it's it's wired properly it'll tell you if the hot is not proper or if the if the neutral is not proper if the ground is not properly wired or if there's missing a ground so you could feel comfortable using these they're very reliable just plug them into every one of your outlets and see what it tells you and based on what it tells you you'll know exactly what to do to make the repair it's going to be pretty simple just by shutting off your breaker and then uh, getting to work on it all right so again one of these and that's all you need to check everything um, if this video was helpful at all to you i really appreciate it if you give me the thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed we're going to have way more tutorials like this and plus hundreds of them that already exist in my library i appreciate you if you follow me and subscribe to the channel um, and uh, look forward to speaking with you again on our next video have a great day everybody